from the bottom up, everybody up here building from the ground up, for real, for real. We want to see any other artist succeed. Ain't nobody hating on nobody at all. The bigger picture is the bigger picture, period. And that means that individuals can't stand alone together. So hey. we are standing together. Cheers. We're going cheers to that. Yeah. Cheers. Yeah. 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 Everybody got a dream. We here to prove that the real, the integrity, the hustle, that shit matters, bro. The heart in it matters. What's up, y'all? It's your girl Nessie Blaze from Black Ink Crew Compton. You know what's going down tonight. It's the official season two premiere of Black Ink Crew Compton, and you heard it here first on Young, Bold, and Regal. This season is a lot different from the first season because we were all pretty new to the, the TV world, the reality TV aspect of things, um, just getting to know each other's energy. This season, I think we figured it out. We all figured out our energy, we all figured out what we become, and we all figured out a little bit more of who we are, and a lot of truth comes to light. The real will prevail. I love art. Um, anybody who knows me, it's my soul, it's my passion. I don't even know where I would be if I didn't pick up a pencil years ago or a tattoo machine. It is the soul being of who I am. Art, the passion is so much bigger than I am. My heart is really in this. Like, you already know, I'm coming. I'm gonna learn more stuff too. That's not it. Tattoos, murals, I'm still out here learning. I am a student, I'm a full-time student, and I'm so excited to grow with y'all and learn more and continue this journey and sharing it with y'all. I've always done my best to stay true to myself, no matter what way the masses were swaying or what feedback I was getting. Um, and I think that's my most valued compliment or feedback is when people are just like, yo, I really respect how you stayed real. I really respect how you stood your ground. I really respect how you stayed you even when people were against it. Um, and I think all that really did and does pay off in the long run. So I'm excited to just show y'all what it is. Um, well, I have a couple of trips planned. I'm going to be traveling a lot the next couple of months. Um, like I said, I'm back in student mode, so I'm back on my little solo tours. I'm just moving everywhere. Um, I'm at a new shop that I love with artists that truly welcome and help me grow and like help shape me as a better artist. So mainly my main focus is staying in student mode. I'm trying to stay still, but I will be going to Jamaica, out the country, and I think I'm going to open my own tattoo shop back home sometime very soon. So definitely stay tuned for that because you know if I said it, I meant it. Um, you guys can find me on social media at Nessie underscore Blaze, Nessie underscore Blaze on Twitter. Um, I don't really be on Facebook like that, I ain't gonna lie. So you might as well follow me on Instagram. Uh, you can DM me, my number's in my bio. It's always direct, everything is an experience. Um, I'm so grateful for my clients, everybody who supported me thus far, but I'm excited to continue the journey and see where it takes us. This right here, we tight, we family, it's all love. Good friendship, we locked in. Period. Yeah. 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 Hold up, yeah. hold up. On some real nigga shit, you feel me? They can't even fuck with my girl because she helped me build Happy Eye, so they got to stick this shit off. But to say some real nigga shit, you feel me? Like, me and Nessie, like, you get what I'm saying? Barbie, like, all love, you know what I'm saying? She came, she embraces out here, and I love that shit. But one thing about this, though, is like, me and Nessie, we came out here from Philly with none of that shit. Me and nothing. You know what I'm saying? Nothing. So like, for yeah. motherfuckers, yeah. anybody that can hit on the shit that we doing right now, yeah. niggas is lame as fuck. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah. We came out here with nothing, no resources. We ain't asked nobody for no fucking handouts, bro. We fucking slept on floors. Fuck we fucking shit. hustled. Your shit. We fucking went yeah. yeah. 16 yeah. Yeah. Yeah, bro. You know what I'm saying? Niggas came out here, niggas, niggas done lost a lot of friends in Philly, bro. Niggas came out here to really pit on Fire City. Niggas really came to show niggas what they can do. Every, nigga, we, everybody, everybody, everybody from Philly got niggas that's gangsters in their family. We ain't got be no gangsters, nigga. We don't be the first billionaire. Fuck them niggas. <laughs> I love y'all from the bottom of my heart, even though I started off with KP, and that's the reason we together, now I'm with the real ones. Yeah, At the exactly. end of the day, like, exactly. ain't none of that fake Fugazi shit, ain't none of that fake gangster shit, ain't none of that fake internet shit. We do this shit in real life. Real life. And we actually fuck with each other in real life when the cameras aren't rolling. Yeah. And I appreciate y'all for that real shit. Keep you know, watching, y'all gonna see how it turns out. And we ain't no boss on TV, we yeah. boss in real life. In real life. Yeah. Yeah. Cause one thing I'm gonna say, the blessed don't beef with the miserable. Yeah. And that's the yeah.
It's your girl Barbie here, and we're at the Black Ink Compton official premiere party with your peeps from Young, Bold, and Regal. Um, one thing I want the audience to know, the way season one went, I was portrayed completely differently than what I am in real life, but you guys will be able to see that season two. I got to open up about my life, what's going on with me, my character, my loyalty to my real friends that are actually there for me. Ain't no more fake bullshit this time around, you know what I'm saying? I opened up about my family, my business, and everything that's going on with me personally in life. So I just can't wait for you guys to actually see it and see my point of view and where I'm coming from and the real person that I am, and not just Barbie, but Erica on in the world right now it's really important to have black ownership and to stick together and not be divided because together we can really make some stuff happen and i think you guys want to see a lot of that in season two how you know we first had a fight, but we eventually ended up coming together and making shit work the people that needed to come together made it work i'm gonna say um, it's just important for us to really stick together at times like this because you notice a lot of people in the black community don't stick together and that's why they don't work. You see other people from different communities, they stick together, they bring each other up. And a lot of times I notice black people, we're like crabs in a barrel. It's just bringing everybody down and we need to stop that. We really need to stick together, put aside ego, all the best for the community, no matter what community you're from. Compton, Philly, Cerritos, LA, Watts, it don't matter where you're from. We need to come together as a collective, as black people and as a whole.